This video is for those of you that want to save every month instead of spending it all. So if you stop by, you saw the title of this video, you're looking for a strategy, you're looking for some tips on how you can stash away some cash every month for when you need it the most. This is what works for me. The first thing I do is I treat my savings like a bill, but not just any run of the mill bill, the most important bill. I used to do this differently. I'd pay the bills, I'd have my fun, and then with what was left over, I would save. And guess how that was working out for me? Not very well. So ever since I reversed my strategy, started with my savings first, then my bills, then whatever I had left over was for whatever I wanted, this has worked out so much better. When you treat your savings like a bill, you protect that number because that is the goal and that is what is required in your new budget strategy, right? You get a phone bill, you get your electric bill, like you pay that in full. If it's $150, you don't just go, oh, I'm gonna pay 120 this month. Like you gotta pay the whole thing, right? So strategize, save first, and then move on to step number two. The second thing I do is I build my budget around that fact that that is my savings number. So that's unmovable if you are aggressively trying to save. So you build your budget around that fact, not that option. Like, you know, could could save this this month, but instead I'm gonna, if you're, if you're hardcore, right? You build around that number. Next, you probably wanna tackle some debt if you have debt. You want to build your budget buffer, which is a month of expenses in your checking account at all times. You wanna build your emergency fund eventually, three to six months of expenses. And of course, where you're gonna get your big bang for your buck, hopefully, is in investing. That has been a huge, huge eye-opener in time. So build your budget around the fact that this is the number you are saving each month. Number three, all right, so when you're figuring all this out, you might all of a sudden realize, wait a minute, I don't have enough money for this. This is this number is not working for me. Don't worry about that. Pick a new number. Pick a smaller number as your goal. And then once you prove to yourself with your spending plan, with your budget, that you can do it, then you gradually increase. So my number currently is 1,000 but I've built up to that. It hasn't always just been easily 1,000, no. Let's also give you the example of how I built up paying off my debt for my house earlier. I'm working on that aggressively, but what I started with was, can I put aside 100 extra dollars to put toward the principal of my mortgage? Could I do that? Could I actually do that? Because I knew I would pay it off faster, right? So I started the first year that I purchased this house, adding $100 to the principal to pay it off sooner. Once I did that for a year, now you don't have to do that for a whole year. You might do something for three months and you go, okay, let's say $100. I can save $100. I did it this month. Next month, let's go for $150 and gradually build. You don't have to pick this outrageous number, especially if you're not a budgeter yet and you don't know your numbers. It's going to really help when you have the knowledge of what you are taking in and what you're spending. And this takes some time to figure out, right? So pick a smaller number. Prove that you can save that number every month. Start with $100. You nail it, great, increase it by $25, by $50, by $100, whatever works for you. And prove to yourself again, now you're at $200. All right, I can do this. 
let's look through my budget. What else can I do without? What can I live without? Is there anything in here that I could just be like, nah, and gradually increase? Take your time, get confident in that number, and then bump it. Bump it, baby. Give it a little time. Make sure you're confident in that. Keep it moving. The fourth thing that I want to share is the idea of exploring minimalism. Ooh, I love minimalism. It has changed my life. The way that I think about minimalism, right? You know, I love frugality. I love frugal living and I love minimalism. Minimalism to me, and everyone's going to kind of view it the way they view it, but it's spending your time, your money, and your energy on things that bring you the most value and then eliminating or greatly reducing, drastically reducing the rest. So you're left with only the things you really need and the things that you love, the things that are bringing you the most value. The biggest game changer for me this past year was doing the declutter of the entire house. If you want to start saving money and you go through your entire house and see what you have, this took me 12 weeks. I did a 12-week challenge for myself because I was reading the 12-week year and it has changed everything. When you see all the stuff that we don't use that we spent, oh my goodness, or the freedom, the freedom that comes with less things, the ability to move throughout your home without things piled up, closets attacking you when you open a door. It is life changing. Explore minimalism. One of my favorite minimalists is Joshua Becker. I've interviewed him here on the channel. That is how interested I am in his work and his message. Um, I'll leave that in the description if you want to check out that interview because his work has definitely changed how I view things. Owning less is key. He calls it de-owning. Instead of just decluttering, de-owning. When you go through your home and you see how much you have, you don't want to keep spending money on things that you're going to end up getting rid of sooner than later. There are definitely things worth the money. We talk about this on the channel, of course. If it brings you value, it's worth it. But there's a lot of stuff that we purchase on a whim, maybe to give us a little you know, boost when we're down. There's like a lot of reasons we buy stuff, right? But if you go through your home and you explore being content, there's just so much to talk about with this topic. I'll leave you a couple more videos in the description if you're interested in minimalism because I talk about that often here also. It's so refreshing. It's so freeing. And it will really help you prioritize your spending and your savings. I've saved the best for last. When you don't feel motivated, right? You're not gonna always feel motivated. <laughs> You're not gonna always feel motivated to save money when you could go spend and have a blast. Obviously, right? Obviously. However, when motivation is low, focus on self-respect. I don't even know if you've heard this as a tip, but listen to me. Respect yourself enough to know that this is important. If you want to have the things that you need and love in this life, right? You got to make some moves and you've got to take care of yourself. So when motivation is low, respect yourself. Choose to respect yourself. No one else has to pay your bills but you. No one else has your specific goals for whatever reason you have, okay? And furthermore, no one else truly even cares if you reach your goal. I'm not trying to sound harsh. I'm being so truthful. We always think, oh, everyone's watching us. Everyone's worried about themselves, okay? And when it comes to your finances, you've got to take care of yourself, right? No one's paying your bills. No one has your goals. No one cares if you reach the goal as much as you, right? This is for you. No one cares about your personal finances as much as you do because it's your finances. Everyone else 
is trying to figure it out on their own. And that's why I have this community here so we can talk about it and all grow together and get ideas and get tips and take care of ourselves and take care of each other as a community. We've talked about this on the channel also. No one's coming to save you. This is up to you. This is up to you. The choices we make with our finances are important so that you can be taken care of, right? No one's gonna take better care of you than you. And you're stuck with you forever. And that's a good thing. So be your own best friend, respect yourself, take care of yourself. And when motivation is low, you remember, I gotta do this and I can do this. Here's the recap. Treat your savings like a bill. Build your budget around that fact. If you find that number that you picked is too large right now, decrease it and then gradually increase it as conditions improve, as your habits improve, it'll get better and better. Number four, explore the term minimalism. You will not regret it. And finally, self-respect all the way. And now, it's your turn. Let us know in the comments, what's your savings goal for this month or next month? Like, what's your monthly savings goal? And how are you gonna get there? Are there any other tips that you're thinking, this really works for me, I need to share it with the K-Squad? Leave it down below, we thank you in advance. Oh, it's not over, it's not over. I've got plenty more for you. If you like this video, I encourage you to click on this video next. I hope you get a ton out of it. And on my channel, guys, I talk about frugal living, budgeting, saving money, and a splash of minimalism. And I have a bunch of playlists on my channel. So if any of those are more interesting to you than another, click on that playlist and enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this channel is helpful for you. And I'm so glad you're here. I appreciate you. See you next video. Bye, guys.